College Seekers, I'm Ferrari St. Paul and you are watching University TV. Today we're taking a look at Presbyterian College, a small liberal arts school located in Clinton, a town in upstate South Carolina. Presbyterian College is just two hours from Charlotte, Charleston, and the mountains, and three hours from Atlanta and the beach. Presbyterian has 245 acres of oak tree-lined campus and Georgian-style architecture buildings. Giving tours of the admissions office, uh, a question I always get is, uh, what is your mascot? What is your mascot? And it's actually, it's a blue hose, um, and it's a stocking that was actually worn by Presbyterian, uh, Presbyterian ministers. Um, and one of the coolest things, probably one of my favorite moments each year, is our opening convocation. Um, and we have uh, the processional of faculty members um, in full academic regalia led by uh, bagpipers in their kilts and, and they're wearing blue hose and that's probably, it gives me goosebumps every year. So. And they all proceed into uh, Belk Auditorium. It's pretty amazing. PC has an enrollment of over 1,100 students, half male, half female, and 10% minorities. The average class size is just 15, and some upper-level courses have as few as three students with a student-to-faculty ratio of 13 to 1. What is a, a neat thing about being a part of a small town is uh, the town adopts them in, in many respects. Um, several of our local churches actually uh, have adopted student programs, so they're very tied in there. And our students return that uh, through a lot of service opportunities with that community. In order to qualify for admissions Presbyterian, students must have an SAT between 1100 and 1350 and an ACT between 22 and 27 and an average GPA of 3.5. Our motto here at Presbyterian College is while we live we serve, so we really want to see that you've been involved in um, you know, a leadership activity or a service activity in your high school or in your community or even in your church. The total annual cost for all students is $36,000, but over 90% of PC students receive some type of financial aid. Through assistance with scholarships, grants, and loans, the average aid award is $22,000. Presbyterian offers 30 majors, 49 minors, and dual degree programs in engineering and forestry. A few of the students' favorites are business administration, biology, history, psychology, and political science. In my upper level classes, I really do try to focus on engaged kind of learning, active learning. Uh, one of the things we take advantage of are some of the places to go in the area for the colonial and revolutionary class in particular. We actually travel to a number of the revolutionary battle sites as well in this area. There's one just down the road a few miles called the Battle of Musgrove Mill. Uh, we're not too far from Cowpens and some other places where there were some very famous Revolutionary War battles. We have one requirement um, for students while they're here at PC. They either have to um, complete an internship or um, do a study abroad program or do a May semester, which is studying abroad for the month of May. So um, with the internships opportunities, you're not limited just to Clinton, although there are great opportunities here. I intern at the Today Show um, this summer and so it, it wasn't, if it weren't for the help and the training that we got with um, our school, there's no way I could have gotten there. So PC absolutely is what sent me to New York and made me do well there. PC has 84 full-time faculty members. 94% have their PhD or equivalent degree. We've had um, six, six PC um, professors been named South Carolina Professor of the Year. Um, I think double the amount of any other school in the state. So um, absolutely, our professors are top notch. They're very interactive. Um, always asking questions, always willing to help you. I think pretty much every professor I've had has given us their cell phone number as well as their home number. So very easy to get in contact with. Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at a blue hose. Part of an elite fighting unit of blue stocking clad Scottish warriors. Also PC's mascot in the Big South Conference as 16 varsity teams compete at the Division I level. You can make your home away from home at one of Presbyterian's 11 residence halls, 15 townhomes and apartments, or their one-of-a-kind Carroll International House for students interested in international and intercultural experiences. I think living on campus and living in the dorms is the best thing that um, PC does. Um, it's a great community. It, um, provides for great building great friendships and relationships um, that I think that, that make PC who it is. PC students stay pretty busy. When they're not flexing their brain muscles, they're flexing their muscle muscles. Over 80% of students participate in intramurals. 
But that's not all. Many students take advantage of the fitness center or go on excursions with the Wilderness Adventure Program. Plus, there are over 70 student organizations, including fraternities and sororities, and numerous religious and volunteer organizations, including Celtic Cross. Only about 30% of our students uh, at Presbyterian College are actually Presbyterian. Um, we have a variety of many different beliefs and religions here on campus. But there's an organization for almost every um, religious affiliation here. The motto here at Presbyterian College is, while we live, we serve. PC has even been recognized by Washington Monthly as the number one liberal arts college in the country in relation to alumni giving back to their communities service-wise. This lovely bell tower is just another way alumni have given back to their school. Stranded in the wilderness looking for the right university? Then steer clear of the trees and take the high road to Presbyterian College. Well, this concludes our tour. I figured this was as good a place as any to end it, so see you later.